Hey guys, you know how dumb I am? I went and did like a four or five minute video, and when I got all done, I went to look at the video and realized that I had the camera on pause. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, we'll try this again. Now when I did my video on my drip system that was in this bed, I had a lot of people comment, well not a lot of people, I had a few people comment about they want to know what this plastic structure was that was sitting on the ground over there. And what this is, is this is like a mini greenhouse that sits on top of this raised bed. Because in this bed I have, I have kale, I have pak choy, and I had some lettuce in here. And um, it's been fairly mild here. We did have a really cold snap, so it came in handy. But I don't keep the plastic on it because the, 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 the sun just you know, beats the plastic you know, to no end. And when I do take it off, I try to put it in the shade. I have a madrone tree over there I put it in the shade. But um, I really haven't put the, the plastic on it too much this year. I just, when it, we got a cold snap, I just draped a piece of plastic over it. But um, I usually, you know, put the plastic on and then put it under cover. But basically, this bed is about eight feet wide. And what I've done here, these are, these are four two-foot sections, well, roughly about. And it's very simple. I'll uh, bring the camera, I'll grab the camera and I'll bring it in close and show you how I did this. But it, uh, I, I glued, I, when I glued this, I only glued the corners because if I want to take this apart, you know, I want to be able to just pop it apart. But you can, you know, if you're going to use it all the time, you can, you know, glue it all together and it, it'll be fine. But anyways, I'll bring in close and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so... Yeah, I know, my kale's looking pretty sick, isn't it? Now, you know, we, we've had a lot of rain here, so this is why my kale is looking like this. Uh, it's, I, well, another reason why you'd want to build one of these is because it isn't going to just protect your, your vegetables from the snow and the cold. It'll also protect it from all the rain. And I should have put this on a lot earlier, and I didn't, but uh, this kale, it, it's happened to me before. This, it'll bounce back. When it starts warming up, it'll bounce back. In fact, when I get the... Uh, when I get the covering on it, it'll bounce back. So, anyways, here's what I got. It's very simple. I've got an elbow. This is all three-quarter inch pipe. I have a 90-degree elbow here with a straight pipe going down to here with another T-joint, with a T-joint and then a small 45 down here. And then down there, another elbow going to, there's a small piece connecting it to a T-joint. It comes up, and these are 45-degree joints right here. And I've got four... 45 degree joints going down to another T and then I just put in a section a two-foot section and I repeat this All the way down now the reason why I went with 45s because I could have gone up With a 90 and then gone over but it what happens is when you have a big flat top You get a lot of rain and you get a lot of uh, snow on top of it So this what this will do is this will allow the rain and everything kind of whisk off I have another section here, the same, and then I close it off with the exact same over here on this end with the 90 degrees. And this one over here, I don't have one of the T-joints in the middle, and I'll show you why I have that. And then on the top, I just connect it with these four-way connectors right there. Okay, now, the thing is, is that this stays inside because it's sitting on these 4x4 four four posts that, that I built the bed with, and it doesn't fall off. And you, what you could do, I mean... I guess you could anchor it here with those, with those conduit anchors, you know, the little brackets, and then you could, you could lift it, but, or well, actually over there, I usually get in from over on that side, and I lift it this way, but you could lift it either way, so you could lift it like that. Now, the reason why I have that is because when I lift it from the other direction, I have a three-quarter pipe that I put in there, and then it basically just stays up, and you could face that any way you wanted. I could turn that if I wanted to get in from this side. But the uh, sun comes from over in that direction right there, so I lift it in the other direction, and it gets plenty of sun. And when it warms up, of course, I don't want it to get too hot inside of here. And on nice days like today, of course, I lift it up and let the, let the, um, the air in and let it dry out, and the, the plants just love that. So anyways, the uh, last thing to do, well, like I said here, now this is, my, this is my grape arbor. My grapes are really small. They're only one year old. So basically... Uh, it, as those grow, the reason why I didn't glue this also was because I'm going to take this section out. So this, I glued this end, but I didn't glue this. So basically, this piece will, or I didn't glue it here, but in, I didn't glue this in. So I can just butt this right up to here, and then my grapes will have plenty of room to grow, and I'll just lose this two feet, and then my bed will basically be six feet. 
But anyways, the last thing to do is put plastic on it. Now, the kind of plastic that I bought, I just I just bought this plastic sheeting here. It's just a roll that you get, you know, any old hardware store. Just the cheap stuff. I think it's, uh, I don't know how much, how, what mill it is. Uh, let me look at this here. Well, I don't know. doesn't say. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's you can use any any uh, thickness of plastic that you want. You don't want to go too thick because then it'll kind of you know it restrict the sun or you know coming in. But anyways, yeah, the last thing you do is put the plastic on. And the first thing that I do is I cut my plastic to go from all the way down the bottom here over the top, and then it comes over here and then down, and then basically you just unroll it. And to, to attach it, you just bring it down here. And then bring it up around and then just you know tape it to itself if you want it to look good you could use that plastic you know the clear tape but i don't i don't care i just use some um, duct tape but anyways putting the sheeting on is the last thing here Okay, well, there it is, my mini greenhouse for raised bed. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'll put a lot more pieces of tape on here. I'll probably get my clear tape and then tape it up with my clear tape. But uh, there it is. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, we'll catch you all later. Be sure to stop over to GrowYourHeirlooms.com where we have podcasts, gardening Q&A, tips on year-round gardening, survival gardening, and current projects that are going on.